Hey, welcome to March's Design Take Home Box. Um, we are going to do this beautiful design today for St. Patrick's Day. Wow, my mind just went blank there. Um, Irish eyes are smiling, so we're going to use some pretty cool things and get in the color scheme for St. Patrick's Day. So let's let get that out of my way. Let's go over what's going to be in your box, okay? You're going to have a beautiful green base, and you're just going to want to um, fill it with water from your tap is fine. Um, you should have like a little packet of the flower food in your box also that you can put in there. You are going to have three fat sea leaves, and these are beautiful. They're a great edging, how we're going to use them in the design today. And I just put a little bit of spray paint of gold just to give it that shimmer, and I mean, it's St. Patrick's Day, right? Pot of gold. You're gonna have two yellow Gerber daisies and I'll have them already wired for you. We do wire all of our Gerbs just for that extra support. Um, not that they don't last long or anything like that. It's just, they get sort of weak heads and they sort of tend to go bleh. So we wanna make sure they're good and sturdy for you. You're gonna have two Bells of Ireland. <laughs> get it, Bells of Ireland, St. Patrick's Day. Two stems of yellow spray roses two beautiful white hydrangeas, and two pieces of yellow solidago, um, also called golden aster. Also, sometimes people think this is um, goldenrod, which is like people get allergic to it a lot outside in the summertime, but this has been cultivated, so it's not like that. I mean, if you have super bad allergies maybe, but don't worry, you're not gonna sneeze your head off or anything like that. So, let's get started. We're gonna start with your hydrangeas. Now, we're gonna take off, remember, any foliage that's gonna go in the water or below this line of the vase. So I'm gonna just take those off. When we put these in, we are definitely gonna want them to like rest on the lip of the vase. So, I'm gonna cut it. See how it's like really resting right on there? Take these leaves off, and we're gonna do the same thing. So they're right down in there. Sometimes you can sort of like cross them over so that they get nice and bound together. So it looks like a beautiful ball of white hydrangea. Now we are going to grab our fatsia leaves. Now these are gonna go around the edge. Sometimes we do this last, <coughs> sorry. Um, but I'm doing it first this time because I really want you to see how that's gonna hold the hydrangea up and really give it some definition. So just sort of lifting up there and putting them. We're just cutting a little bit off here. Just lifting up and like so. So you have all three of them equally around the base. So this is what you should look like. So there's a beautiful ball there. We have a collar of this great fancy leaf that has that little gold shine on it. All right. Next, we're gonna do our Bells of Ireland. Now the type of design we're gonna do today really is all around, but it's sort of gonna have like a front to it. Everyone also always says, you should have threes of things. If you know how to break the rules, then you can break them. So I'm gonna show you that today. And I know I do grouping a lot, but it's just so easy for you guys to really get those fundamentals down. So this is our Bell, Bell of Ireland. A lot of times they come curved, when you have it at home towards the um, light, it's gonna end up straightening just like tulips and snapdragons do. But the other thing is, if you just sort of warm it, bend it the other way, it helped it a bit. Now the other thing is these little leaves on top, sometimes like when we have a lot of designs go out of here, we'll take those off just because it gives a sleeker line but I love them and I think for this design, it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna leave them on. So I cut my stem and I'm putting it in the vase. We want it to touch the bottom, remember? And now if we measure, this is about one and a half times to two times the height. And I put that right in the middle. Now here's the second one. I mean, if you like them curved like that, you do it. Remember, you have to love this arrangement, and it is yours. Now I'm gonna do the second one, and we want them to be in the middle together, 
But do you see how I have them at different heights, right? We don't want everything the same. So there's our start. I love Bells of Ireland. They have so much personality. All right. Next, we're going to go to our solidago. Now, remember, no foliage in the water. So I'm going to just sort of hold it and just strip down all of that stuff. <clears throat> so we have so. I'm going to cut it like we do. And now I'm going to put it in my base. Anywhere you want. And we're going to do the same with the other. Remember, we want the stems to be long and in the water to the bottom, but we don't want any foliage in the water. And I'm putting this one right next to it. Oops, get back in there, Leaf. I don't want it to jump ship on us. There we go. So now I have my two bells, and I put these saladago right next to each other. And just like I did the bells, they're sort of staggering. So, we have our first two elements in. As you can guess, this was like a third, and then we're going to group our next flowers and our next flowers. So it's going to be such a great impact for all of the things. Let's do our spray roses next. We're going to take off all those leaves. Remember, we don't want them. And then look at your stems. Remember, um, you want smaller things at the top and larger at the bottom. So if you can see, this stem is a bit fuller. So I'm gonna put this lower in the base. I'm gonna cut my stem and I'm gonna come, this is a third, I'm gonna come right over here. I'm gonna come down and close, snug it right into that hydrangea. And the next we're gonna group also, but it's gonna be a little bit taller, right? So it's almost sitting on top of it. So now we have a beautiful cluster of spray roses. So we have our Great Bells of Ireland, our Solidago, and our Spray Roses. Last, we're going to do our Gerber Daisies. Now, same thing. Look at them and see sometimes, well, this one is a little bit bigger. And sometimes they can definitely vary in size. So first one again. So we have one third, two third, and our third third, third third half, is going to go right down low there. And then this last one is going to hover right over top. So this is a fast, easy design this month, but I just think you're going to love it. Way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Um, that little gold on the leaf is just going to be great. Perfect for your table. Hey, have a dinner party, drink a green beer. Happy St. Patrick's Day.